Hello, Richard here from Oracle Cloud Block. Um, in this video, I just want to demonstrate quickly on how you can have direct console access to any of your Linux and uh, Windows virtual machines. And sometimes you might want to connect uh, to your VMs that you have deployed in OCI, but you might not actually have the network connectivity uh, to log into those virtual machines because maybe those virtual machines sit on a private network. Um, or your company's network from what you're connecting from is not allowing you to have SSH traffic or an RDP session or something like that. Or you might just need it for troubleshooting or something like that. Um, so the easiest way to do this is when you go to OCI and you create a compute instance. So in my case here, we'll start, start off first with a Linux uh, virtual machine, a Linux uh, demo. And you can choose any flavor of, uh, of Linux. I think the script uh, that we'll use uh, will work with uh, most flavors of Linux. Uh, in my case, I'm going to pick Ubuntu. I'm a big Ubuntu fan. And I'll deploy this in my network. And what I'll do, just to show you how this works, I'll deploy this virtual machine in my private uh, subnet. So I won't have connectivity uh, from the outside world uh, by default to this uh, uh, virtual machine. Um, now I can even do this um, um, without creating an SSH key, uh, but you can still create an SSH key uh, so that you can log in over SSH. Um, so uh, we'll, we'll do that here. Um, uh, but the key thing is, is to go to the show advanced options. And in the show advanced options, you have the capability um, to include a cloud init script. And I have created a cloud init script, both for Linux and for Windows to create um, what we're going to do in this session. So um, I'll take this cloud init script here from my blog and I'll just copy and paste this into uh, this uh, Linux VM. And mainly what this does is, is it will create a user called backdoor. Um, it won't allow the user to log in uh, over SSH. So even SSH is working, this, this backdoor user can only be used using a remote console session. Uh, and it will set up uh, set it up with a default uh, password. Um, so by just putting this into the cloud init script, we can now create this virtual machine. And when it is created, we can go to the remote console, uh, to the console connection session. Here you have two options. You have create a local connection and you would have to set up an SSH tunnel, all kinds of complicated things, but we can now actually use the launch cloud shell connection. By clicking on this button now, it will automatically launch a Cloud Shell, configure Cloud Shell to have this SSH tunneling towards this virtual machine, um, and then will actually present me with a, um, a console uh, connection. So it's going to create that console connection now. There we go. It is now created. And I now have direct console access here from within my web browser. Now, might not look like much because right now the machine is not doing anything I'm, as I'm not entering the keyboard. But if I actually click in this window and I'll just hit enter, uh, enter you will see that I actually get the login prompt uh, for this uh, machine. Traditionally, you would log in on this machine using the OPC or the Ubuntu username with your SSH key. And those users are not configured with a password. So what the script did is it created a backdoor user. So I can log in with a backdoor user and there is a password for this backdoor user that is specified here on the block. Uh, one love Oracle uh, exclamation mark. So I can actually go here uh, and I can type that in. And now I have just straightforward um, access uh, to this uh, uh, virtual machine that I have here uh, running inside OCI. And from here, I can uh, check the network, I can ping other virtual machines, um, but I have now direct console access to this virtual machine. So very easy um, to use. Now, I cannot only do this with Linux virtual machines, I can also do this with Windows virtual machines. So if we uh, go back to my instances and if we create a Windows virtual machine, Windows demo, um, we're gonna change to uh, Microsoft. Uh, so let's take uh, like a Windows 2000 standard server. Um, there we go. Again, I'll put it into my private network. So I won't have any but even any RDP access or anything like that uh, to that virtual machine. And again, we go to the show advanced uh, functionalities and we will do a paste in a script. So also my blog, you will find an article about for Windows machines, how to do this. It's a significantly longer cloud init script, unfortunately, but we'll take that. We'll just copy and paste that. Uh, in here, uh, duh, 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 duh. and there we go. And we'll paste that in here. 
and uh, we'll create this virtual machine as well. So now when this Windows virtual machine has been created, again, we can go to the console connection. Uh, again, we have two choices here. We can click on the create local connection, uh, but that would require you to set up an SSH session. Over that, you would have to connect uh, through VNC, a lot more complicated to do. Again, here, we can just click on the launch Cloud Shell uh, connection option. This will launch, again, the Cloud Shell, and from the Cloud Shell, it will create a console connection towards that uh, virtual machine. Now, Windows, of course, normally is running graphically. Uh, this all happens over serial communication towards that machine. So uh, when I am now connected, I should be getting um, uh, the SAC prompt from my Windows. Um, so here I can now launch a... A command prompt um, so I can see that that command prompt session is there and I can switch to that channel uh, channel one um, like launch that channel and I get my login prompt of my Windows virtual machine again here we can use the um, backdoor user that the script has created again for Windows the cloud init script will make sure that this backdoor user can only log in through this console connection it cannot log in over an RDP session and we will use the same password there again and I should now be able to get just a normal command prompt. There we go. So here we have in my OCI browser, um, um, a simple command prompt where I can do testing. So for instance, um, if I want to like ping my Linux virtual machine that we created earlier, there we go. Um, I can actually have that uh, test done. So. Great way to be able to log into both Windows or Linux VMs directly from the console page um, um, from a, within OCI without having to have actual network connectivity to your virtual machines. And as I said, it can be done through Windows machines and Linux for virtual machines. Um, blow both in its scripts. Uh, you can find my blog. I'll post the links in the description of this video. Uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.